All right. Well, hello and welcome to another edition of Style RX. Amy and I are just so excited to bring these to you each and every week. So we're live on Fridays at 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Mountain, noon Central, and 1 Eastern. So if you're able to join us live, we always love that, but you can also get a hold of the replay. And when we were kind of thinking about different topics to talk about, we really wanted to highlight um, personal style. And so we're calling that street, street style today, but I really want you to think about your personal style and the things that you gravitate towards. I know for me, I really love the idea of feminine pieces with lace and little frills, but I find anytime I add those to my closet, they just sit there. So I've learned to kind of stay away from that more delicate stuff for me personally. So take a look at your closet, take a look at the things that you are attracted to and kind of see where you um, fall. And I don't know if there's necessarily um, a correct fashion term for my style, but I'm gonna call it cowgirl meets classic because uh, Amy mentioned earlier that I am a horse girl. We raise registered quarter horses. I grew up riding hunter jumpers and now I ride um, cutters and rainers. And so I'm very much into that equestrian type look and really a, a Western vibe as well. And so I like that, but then I also like the classic lines of um, more classic pieces, things that are tailored. I, I like bright colors, which again, lends more Western than, than classic dressing. So kind of take a look. And one of the things I walk my clients through um, when we do style consultations is I'll get out a fashion magazine and I say, just rip out things that you're drawn to. And then we kind of look at that and say, hmm, all right, well, let's um, kind of look at some more feminine pieces or more classic pieces. So kind of look at, at how you gravitate. But you're gonna to see today that I am um, in the, I think if everybody that's on can mute your microphone, then that'll keep the recording uh, how we need it. But um, I'm wearing our houndstooth skirt. You're gonna see Amy in a little bit in the trouser. And then I have our rebel top on. So I've got my classic piece here. I've got my more Western vibe here. I'm tying it together with a black Obi belt because I couldn't find my blue Obi belt that matches my shoes perfectly. But um, you've got a pop of blue. So I've got the color mixed in here. And instead of this um, skirt staying kind of buttoned up, uh, now you've got just a little bit different vibe throwing through that, going through that. And then, of course, my little Kate Spade brief bag because I have to have all the room to hold on to all of the um, necessities that I need to carry around all the time. So, Amy, how about you? Okay, I'm trying to gently unmute so that my phone doesn't crash down. <laughs> Um, I'm so excited about this. As I was telling a few girls that logged on, this is probably my favorite um, section that we've ever done because this is really us authentically in our own style. And I would say my personal style is for sure sporty classic. Um, but in my mind, I've always been this little rebellious soul, but I was a rule follower, so I didn't really dare bend rules. So you know, my clothes were sort of always that way of me rebelling, I guess, in a little bit. And my mom could attest to that. She um, would tell me I was never dressed enough. <laughs> and I never thought that I was immodest. But anytime somebody tells me I can't do something, I'm going to push back. So I do have a little bit of a rebellious side. And now that I'm in my midlife, I love combining that with the comfort classic that I need and I'm busy and you'll hear me a lot say I won't go anywhere or leave my house if I am not completely comfortable. So I'm going to show you what I would walk out of the door in and completely fall in love with. And so Rebecca showed you our houndstooth skirt and I love taking denim and lace. The idea of taking something very dressy and dressing it down. So today I'm wearing our houndstooth trouser 
And these are actually one size too big for me, but I actually loved that because I've got them slouched down on my hips just a little bit. So they're intended to be a little higher on the waist. I'm wearing an Adidas sneaker with these because of the Ponte knit. They are so wearable and super comfortable. And then I have a little graphic t-shirt that says faith on it. And I just did this fun little tie. Now you'll notice also I have all my jewelry stacked. I have like a little clasp on my ear. And again, those are just sort of me speaking out saying I'm independent, but I'm also a rule follower and I love to just be my unique self. Now, as far as how I would finish this off, my leather jacket that Cabby just released is the perfect pairing for me. And I would actually unzip it and pull it up above my elbows. And then for an accessory, because like I said, I have to be able to come and go really quick. I would actually just take a fun little sling bag and put it on. So here is my look. And also you guys, my faux hawk signature hair is something that I intentionally put up today with these looks because it really is my go-to. I love doing fun things with my hair, but I'm not quite daring enough to chop it off and color it crazy. That goes back to my classic style um, I'm much more conservative than I think I am. And so I really love blending the two, but still feeling completely comfortable in my skin. So I'm going to throw it back to Rebecca and she is going to show you a whole new outfit and then I will be back as well. Just in the nick of time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you are like me and possibly feeling a little fluffier than usual coming out of all of the emotions of the last several months, um, column dressing may be a great answer for you. You're going to see that I have our carpenter pants on the surround blouse, which is a beautiful column of color. It creates a long line. And then I popped our little citizen jacket over the top of that for just a little pop color. So, um, and shoes. So you can always do fun things with your shoes. Highlighted um, my, my waist with our stud belt, done a little front tuck. And of course, Leopard is a neutral, and you guys are all going to want to snag this bag later on. It's hilarious because at my shows, um, everybody just wants to pet the bag and take it home. It's, it's wonderful. But um, let me scooch over here. Okay, so column dressing. You can do, I think a lot of times we think of black when we're looking at something that we can um, feel a little slimmer and trimmer in, but you truly can use any color of the rainbow. Just make it in a column. And then I always like to kind of pop a little um, jacket or sweater or cardigan of a different color to really pop that um, over the top of it. So um, make sure and bring your collar up, roll your cuffs, and then you have just an entirely um, different look. So. Um, another quick tip about um, your accessories and stuff, you don't have to worry about everything matching. So there was a time where I would have thought I needed to wear a mustard belt and have everything matchy matchy. That is not necessarily the case anymore. Um, you're going to see a lot of brown belts, black shoes, which was totally out of the question um, several years ago, but now it's, it's kind of like anything goes. So have fun with it. You're gonna see in some of our um, Notion, the style and idea magazine that we do, they're, they're doing lots of pinks and reds and purples all together and different shades and just really having fun with your clothes. So if you're one that gravitates more towards a bold um, dressing trend and you really like those pops of colors and big graphic prints. The world is your oyster right now, ladies. You can kind of do everything and um, it's not considered a fashion faux pas. So uh, while Amy is finishing changing, oh, there she is. 
man, this is like stripping on, um, fast forward <laughs> to go straight from one outfit to the next. Okay. This is my second look and there's a couple fun things about it. So I am wearing our Highland shirt reversed. I actually cut the tag out of the neck and out of the side. You had, to, I had to be pretty careful with it, but because of the raw edge here and how beautiful it is fixed in the back, it completely changes the look of this flannel shirt. So instead of being this beautiful purple with the golds all over, it is now more of a black and white mix. Now, because of the golds, it's really fun to print mix. I'm gonna get close so you can see the gold coming out of here. Our beautiful little liner tank under something like this. Now, again, I am like as casual as it gets. So I just did our little belt loop pull here. And then of course, this is kind of a hint back to my little rebellious nature. I have our destructed high skinny, but I also cut off and frayed the hem. So that is something I personally love to add to um, my clothes. And then I have on these bright yellow sneaks. Now, one thing we were talking about accessories and I absolutely agree, nothing has to be matchy matchy, but I happen to have this really fun mustard yellow wallet. And because this is super casual, it actually fits right in my back pocket and I can take it and go and not worry. I'm kind of a no fuss girl. In fact, my go-to purse is a backpack. So this is something that I really, really love. I also love that this shirt can be kind of just casually tied on if you want to create a little more shape or if you really want to show off the gold prints, you can wear it the correct way and have more of the color coming out of it, which I think is so cool. Or again, because I'm, <laughs> I even have my sports bra on because I'm going to go do my workout after this. I know you've heard that already, a couple of you. But this is one that I think would be super fun just to tie and go. So this is classic Amy. This is me all the way through. And so now I will go change into my last outfit. And I hope you take a minute because this one might take me a second to get into. <laughs> Okay, so I better be able to talk for a while is what she's saying. And I think it's funny, Amy, that you think you need to go work out after this because uh, this like peeling clothes off in a hurry and running back and forth has been a workout in and of itself for me. Uh, so I preach comfort all the time and I absolutely love to be super, super comfy while I'm dressed up. So this outfit, the base of this outfit is our joggers and then our little wildflower top of this season. And again, it kind of creates that column of color, even though I've got a solid on the bottom and a print on the top. And then I think that the, the common misconception about these joggers is they're like Netflix and chill on the couch type um, pieces or run to the grocery store type piece. And I really want you to expand your thinking on that and move beyond that. And, Think of ways that you can dress them up. So I like to coach my gals that you want to think of three different ways that you can wear a piece before you add it to your closet. So can you dress it up and use it for a date night? Can you wear it more of a business casual or a business professional? Can you really, really dress it down and go very casual? I don't like things hanging in my closet that are not getting like maximum use. Everything better be getting worn all the time or it moves up along. So as you guys are selecting pieces to add to your wardrobe and also deciding what gets to stay in your closet because that's kind of prime real estate, your closet. And you don't want things so packed in there that you can't even see what you have. So be very, very, very um, purposeful about what you select and then what stays as well. But then I have our beautiful maestro jacket on over the top to just really kind of dress things up. And this is a black textured ponte. It's lightweight. It's different than any of the black ponte pieces we've had before. 
And if you're like me and you enjoy um, being able to feel like you're in your sweatpants, but yet be dressed up, this is the piece for you. We also have a trouser that goes along with it, but this is a lightweight piece that I can wear right now when it's 90 degrees and humid, and I'll be able to wear it all through the fall and winter. So, um, and then I've also paired it with, I think these are our heartbreaker necklace and earrings. So I really like the big pop of the accessories with this piece. And of course, leopard is a neutral. So I put that back with the wildflower top. You'll notice that these, um, I, I kind of coach to mix your scale of your pattern, and these are fairly similar, but the wildflower top is a looser pattern, and the leopard top is a little bit more dense pattern, so it also works. Okay, Amy, throwing it back to you. Okay, we're going to have plenty of time for question and answers. I think what you're going to notice is a theme. Um, while we're, Rebecca and I were planning our outfits, it was quite interesting because we both had something that was really from a dressy family in the houndstooth. Then we both took a little bit more casual approach and now we're taking what we would consider athleisure, like she said, something that you would Netflix and chill with and we're both sort of dressing them up. So I hope that today, if anything, you're going to be able to reflect into your closet and go, hmm, I bought that for business wear, but I'm retired. How can I put that with a graphic t-shirt and jeans? Or I bought this for casual, but I'm, I'm just, it's the COVID 20 or whatever you want to call it. And so you want to be a little more comfortable, but still feel like you look put together. And so I hope if anything, if you've taken from this, that it really is about you and how comfortable you are in your skin. And I think before we can be comfortable in our skin, we need to identify what pieces we really gravitate to. And like Rebecca said, she may not be a lace girl, so they sit in her closet. I personally am not a super floral girl, but that's where I'll ground that floral with a denim jacket. So if I kind of call myself that denim and lace girl because I love ideas of things, but too much of it just put me on edge. So um, I think there's some really good pointers that you can pull out from this. So my outfit that I put together is our ATC camo leggings. You can see they're the high-waisted legging that we have, and this is in our around the clock group. So they are intended to be worn around the clock. Um, to dress them up and to really utilize them, I have on our all-purpose cami in our beautiful satin fabric. And the reason I chose to layer these two pieces as they are shown is in a legging, I really feel like I need a little bit more coverage around the booty and also around the hoo-ha. So, um, you know, I'm a big believer that camels need to stay in the desert. <laughs> That's my saying. And so, I like to have my front covered a little bit. So a sweater like this, it draws the eye up with a difference in texture. It's the same color, but the texture is what's gonna bring that eye up to my waist. And so I love this more petite fitting um, square neck cable cardigan. And it also, because it's a beautiful square, it almost gives you that illusion of elongating like a V-neck. It's not as high as a crew neck, but I also have my chunky longer necklaces. Now, as far as the boot, an over the knee boot is a must have of this season, but some people are not super comfortable with them. They might feel a little bit too edgy. Um, so one thing I've done to tone them down a little bit is I did get me a kind of this metallic gray pair, which can go into blacks and it can really blend into some of my silver jeans. And it's not going to be as bold as taking like a tan boot with a denim jean and cutting my leg. So I went with a little bit more of a metallic look so that I can kind of tone that down just a little bit. And as far as my accessory, instead of having a sling or a crossbody bag, I did more of a slouchy shoulder bag so that I can really kind of pull this a little bit dressier together. And you could also take this super casual by removing the sweater and adding just our ATC cowl over top of it. And then that pretty little red satin 
top would hang out the back. So it's still dressy, but lends itself to a little more of a casual side. So I wanted to show you both of these so that you can see, oh gosh, all she really did was switch out one piece. And that's what we're trying to teach you through all of these um, live Friday Style RX sessions that we do. It's not that we just know everything because obviously we don't. We're doing this to help you simplify. The idea is to just add that little accessory, pull your shirt through a belt loop pull, or grab your Wranglers. If you are, you know, if you have a certain um, area where you really are comfortable, maybe you're trying to get into the business world, but you've been an outdoorsy person. We're not going to tell you to go to full suit and pointy toe shoes. We're going to help you pull that in so that your lifestyles can merge because depending on the season of life you're in, your lifestyle will change. Even if it's just young and you've had a baby or maybe you re you've retired now and you don't wanna wear anything but a pair of leggings, we're showing you how to take that to another level. So, okay, Rebecca, I think we should have everybody unmute now. And if you guys have questions, feel free to reach out. If you wanna talk about your personal style, we can kind of give you an idea for that. Also next week is gonna be a little bit unique. Um, I actually have to travel over seven hours to get to my son's football game. So the plan is, <laughs> and I'm saying the plan because we are hoping this doesn't, nothing comes up to change, but Rebecca and I are going to do a pre-recorded style RX and then we will um, email it and post it in our private groups and that kind of thing. So you'll still get your style RX on Friday, but we will not be live until the following week. And the following week is what, Rebecca? Can you remind me what we switched it to? Yes, we're going to do body types and dressing your body type the following week. So we're going to bring in a couple more guest stylists with us so that we can talk each specific body type and how you best dress um, that body type. So you won't want to miss that. Yeah, that one's going to be really exciting. Okay, let's open it up for questions. It is 1122, so we're great on time if you guys want to ask a couple questions or if you have any thoughts for us. And I'm turning this direction so I can see your faces. I just got my beautiful, cheerful blouse. Um, oh, I love it. I'm so excited about it. Um, I think I'm going to order the beautiful little red cami that you have on, Amy. Um, it's a little bit low for me. Um, I just am excited. I just think there's lots of ways I can wear it. But yeah, sometime, I don't know if this is the time, but I'd love to have some uh, great suggestions of many other ways to wear it, because I think there's many ways that I can. I would love to help you with that, Bev. In fact, this cami is a perfect match. Yeah. And I also know you have a couple vintage sweaters and jackets that would go really beautiful with it. The other thing about that blouse that I think is a little unexpected is to leave it unbuttoned all the way down but with I a tank or a cami. And really just because it's with the knit sleeves, it's really, really fun. So that one is a phenomenal piece to not only print mix because it's already showing you that with the cuffs, Right. but to really wear um, outside of the dressy box. Sure. So I think you're going to have a lot of fun with that. I know. I just love the, the little red cami that you have on. Amy. It's yeah, beautiful. and it, it's a great length. And yeah. also the straps are adjustable. So oh, if, you don't, if you don't want it any yep. lower than this, sure. then sure. you can adjust them, which is what I did because I don't like a lot of my chest showing and neither does my husband. So right. I always... <laughs> Pull those up a little bit. Very beautiful. I love the cami. Thank, Thank you. And Bev, any of our past season cords that we've had, there's a ton of the bottoms that we've had in past seasons that you might have that will match beautifully with that top and just thank you for supporting our heart of cabby foundation because oh, yes. i know that, that is near and dear to both amy and i's hearts and so we appreciate you. And it is yes. Amy. I've been I was a previous cabbie gal so yeah stylist you so. were she was she was my team and I <laughs> loved her 
Um, I have Mary, a comment and a question. Okay. My comment is, Kilpak, I know why you're still muted. That's an adorable munchkin on your lap, girl. That's my comment. <laughs> Isn't that baby so cute? Oh, and Mandy and, Mandy and I are actually doing a closet audit on Monday, right? Following Monday. And I'm super excited to pull some of this because she is in a new season of life. So it's going to be really, really fun to go into Mandy's closet and figure out what's really going to work for her right now. Cool. My question is, and I'm new to Cabby. And maybe Rebecca, you are in something you can show me, but you talked about a belt loop tie with your shirt. Yeah, let me see can, if this, these don't have loops, but oh, okay. let, me, let, me, let me grab a pair of jeans that do. Mary, while she's grabbing them, I can show you. And actually it's on my, on my private group page where you're at. If okay. you go back, if you go back through some of my past videos, it's called Style Tip Tuesdays. I actually demonstrate it oh, okay. on there and I walk you through it. So if, if you Good. don't get enough of it from here, it is in my private group on some of the past videos. Oh. And I can even try and um, find it and tag you in it today. Oh, no, no. I, I'll afternoon. find it, thank you. Okay, no, that's uh -huh. fine. So yeah, Rebecca's is, gonna show you now. So you your belt loop and you have the end of your shirt, you just pull your, your shirt through your belt loop and you can kind of see that pulling up well, mm -hmm. probably not pulling up the extra. And then sure. I just, this little loop that ends up um, there, I just tuck it back into my pocket and it just stays put. Yep, so that's exactly that. what I do too. Okay. And it, it works really, really well on a knit. So the chiffon tops, not so well because they can't stretch at all. But mm -hmm. with some of our t-shirts, the reason that's such a great tip is a lot of times we want a longer t-shirt if we're going to wear it casually over a legging. Right. Um, but then when we go to jeans, it feels like too much. So we don't really know what to do with it. The yeah. belt loop pull will go through your belt loop. So it's a little bit lower and then you can still have that coverage in the back and blouse it through the front. So oh, that's what oh. I did. That's what I did with that yellow stripe tank. I'm hoping the jeans will fit and therefore, yes, I will be able to actually do that. Well, I'm since you are new, if they don't fit, <laughs> let's give them some grace and we'll do an exchange and we'll make sure because they go on like butter and they have the best stretch and feel to them. Great. Thanks. Okay. Do we have any no, more Mary. questions? Mary, what jeans did you get? I need to know. Carpenter. They're so comfortable. Yes. I'm, I'm sure they are. Susan told me she has them and she loves them. Yeah. My problem is my fit. So that's, that's what the fingers are crossed for is the fit. Well, and, and I think you and I talked about that. That style yeah. in particular is not denim. So they are intended to relax and open a little right. bit. Yeah. So they should not grow and get sloppy. So that's what we're going to, I'm going to have you wear them in your home for about an hour and see where your comfort level is and then we'll know. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Mandy, Bev, do either one of you have any other questions? No? Thank you for today again. I love Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. All right. Bye ladies. Have a good weekend. Everybody. You too. I know. Okay, Rebecca, I'm going to pause the recording.